20 things within this industry. Um, he's one of the hardest working people I know. He is always on the go. There's some time I'll call him at 7 in the morning. He's working. I call him at, I call him at midnight and he's still working. He's still working at 2, 3 o'clock this morning because he loves his business, because he loves who he works with, the people that he's building it with, and it shows in everything that he does. He is a leader in the industry as well as in his company. My good friend, Mr. Andreas Papakastis. The call's all yours, sir. Awesome. Thank you, Jamie, thank you so much. I appreciate your your kind introduction and your words, and I feel the same way about you. Fantastic job today on the presentation, as always. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show my screen here. Uh, if you could just let me know that you can yep, see my screen. Awesome. Is my Perfect. audio audio working fine? Loud and clear, buddy. Awesome. Well, thank you, Jamie. I appreciate it. Fantastic call here today, folks. Welcome to our uh, live leadership training call that we do, again, every Wednesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We record all of our training calls, and we post it up on steamteam.ca so you can have, again, a library of phenomenal training by phenomenal leaders here in NHT Global that you can have at your fingertips at any time to continue to develop yourself personally, professionally, as well as financially. And today I decided, uh, and I'm rec this is obviously recorded, so you'll, uh, for those of you who are listening to it live to, uh, right now, obviously some of you uh, that are listening to it will be from a recording aspect, but uh, today I decided to talk about uh, the daily <laughs> six steps towards success. You know, I pondered on this training because I could have easily put your daily uh, eight steps. I could have easily put your daily 20 steps towards success. Um, I could have easily put uh, your daily 100 <laughs> steps towards success. But obviously, uh, you know, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. And some of the things that you're going to hear about here right now, uh, you've probably heard bits and pieces from again, leaders through our training, through our getting started. Uh, it's just going to be put in a different way in order for you, again, uh, to uh, understand the value and the importance of the information that I'm going to share with you, especially as people during the holiday season, people are uh, allowing, I'm not saying they are stressful or they are stressful times, they are allowing themselves to become stressful because of all the things that go on with the holiday season. As a matter of fact, it's supposed to be one of the most happiest times uh, throughout the season. But the reality is that for a lot of people, it's, it's, it's stressful. And so how can you build your business? What can you do on a daily basis, whether you're brand new, whether you are stuck in your business, whether you are exploding in your business, and again, you want to take it to another level? Perhaps you are a seasoned veteran, you're a multimillionaire, and again, what are some of the concepts and things that you can focus on and stay committed to on a daily basis that will allow you to, again, attract the success that, again, all of you are, are looking for? So I hope today's training is going to be a great, uh, uh, just maybe a, an experience for you to reflect. So please, if you don't have paper and pen, I would encourage you to grab paper and pen and just jot down some notes. If, if you feel like one of these steps is something that you haven't done or you could do more of or uh, you know you can become better at, jot it down, write it down because this training is, is for you. Um, it's for those that are serious about their business. There are those who are serious about changing the quality of their life. It's for those who are serious about changing their financial situation. It's for people who are ready for success. So we're going to begin here with step number one. Now, here it is, number one, making a decision. You know, a lot of people have a hard time making decisions. And uh, when I'm talking about making a decision, is making the decision to commit to the success of your NHT global business. You need to make the decision first. It doesn't matter what else you do in your business, if you don't have a concrete, solid decision that you are going to build your business, 
nothing truly matters and that's why I have it as number one what decision did you make for yourself when you first got started in your NHT global what's your decision for your NHT global business are you part-time are you full-time do you want to build this business fast do you want to build it slow do you want to build this business big or do you want to play small are you deciding to make NHT Global a hobby income? What is your decision? And I wouldn't be surprised if some people never really sat and thought about it, except for the initial time where you got started, you got excited, you know why you got involved. Perhaps you, you're looking for the extra finances or to replace your income or you're, you're serious about becoming a millionaire or perhaps it was a house you wanted that you couldn't afford but you know this business can bring it to you. You obviously made a decision to join. Have you made the decision to commit to your decision. So I'll say that again. Have you made a decision to commit to the decision that you have made? This is very, very important. Make the decision of where you want to go in your business. Make that today, not tomorrow, not three days from now, not after the holidays. Make the decision today. Jot down what you need to do on your notes right now and make sure that you spend time making that decision. Now, it shouldn't be a hard decision. It shouldn't be a long decision. It should be an emotionally concrete, binded decision that you're going to commit to your business and that you're going to become successful. Now, success to you may be different than mine. So make sure that you clarify what success is for you and make the decision to commit to that. Now, again, I'm going to ask you some of these questions. Do you want to be financially free? Will you commit to make NHT Global your vehicle to financial freedom? Everybody wants to be financially free. But will you commit to make NHT Global your vehicle to financial freedom? Do you want to control your financial future? I'm sure you made a decision to join NHT Global because I'm sure that was part of your reason. Will you commit to make NHT Global your vehicle that will allow you to control your destiny? Do you want more time to do the things you want, when you want, and how often you want? Will you commit to your NHT Global vehicle and make that vehicle achieve time freedom for you? Will you make that commitment for you and your family and your future? Make that decision. Now, here's just something that I thought about as I was putting these slides together. Make a decision that you will commit to your success knowing that you will face challenges that will challenge you to grow personally. This is so important and why so many people allow themselves to stop their commitment or change their decisions because of challenges. But if you understand that the challenges are there to help you grow personally in your life, you would welcome the challenges, you would want to face the challenges, and that's how you grow personally. And there's nothing more important and significant than having you build your business and grow your business by developing yourself personally. There is not a more solid, concrete, scientific evidence out there in becoming successful in your business than developing yourself personally. But you got to make that decision. Now, let's go into number two, the second step towards becoming successful. Having a six month financial goal. Okay? Six month financial goal. This is so crucial. You know, we have monthly goals, weekly goals, yearly goals, five-year goals, 
But I believe this is so crucial where you don't think too ahead. And the reason why that is is many people have a hard time looking way ahead in their future. People have a hard time uh, feeling that they, they can truly deserve to have millions of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars. So I'm suggesting that you look at your six-month financial goal every single day. And what is that six-month financial goal? That is your decision. Now, the first thing that we tell distributors when they join us to help them get started and to have us help them with what they want to get out of their NHG Global business is to complete a goal sheet. So my question to all of you is, have you completed that goal sheet that is available to everyone that includes the financial part of that sheet. Okay? Now, some people don't know what to create in their financial goals. Here's a, here's a secret. Not a secret, but here's a clue. Okay? What do you want your six month financial goal with your NHT Global to be? Okay? What check? would you like to see on a weekly basis from NHT Global by your six months? You put in that number. And some people have a hard time putting in the number. They have a hard time putting in $10,000 a week because some people have never made more than $10,000 a year. So how is that possible? That's their paradigm. Some people have a hard time putting down a hundred thousand dollars a week because they've never done that in a year let alone have they done that in a decade so can they do they really believe that and what happens is you have already attracted attracted something that will negate anything you think you will want so what is it that you would like not what you think you can do what would you like that check to be coming into your mailbox every single week by your six month of being an NHD Global? I encourage you to take the time to do that, and I encourage you to work with your enroller or any of your upline leader in creating this for you if you are stuck. This is huge. This is powerful. Now, I know every leader and every successful person has this in their home office, in their wallet, in their office, in their briefcase, in their car. They see what they want every single day. And that is the visual that starts the emotions, that starts the activities that you need to be doing in order for you to achieve that. You see, if you don't know what you, how much you want, how is that going to reflect on what you need to do to go out there and create it? If you don't know what you want, here's what's going to happen. You're not going to know what activities you're going to do in order for you to achieve that income. So this is very, very important, and that is why I had this in number two. Now, here's number three, and this is something I cannot stress this enough. This is something that so many distributors in our profession, in a profession that, again, creates an entrepreneurship model for you, that people deviate, don't do, they feel like they don't have to do. And if you take a look at people who are organized in their life and people that are not, the difference is basically having a schedule and sticking to the schedule. Now, do you have an NHT Global time schedule? where you are working your NHT Global business and that's what you're doing. You are producing revenue. You are producing growth. You are producing momentum in your organization, in your business. Do you have an NHT Global uh, time commitment that you are dedicating on a weekly basis? What is it? Okay. If you have not done this, this could be a reason why perhaps those who are not moving forward perhaps are not moving forward in their business. This 
is crucial, especially if you have a full-time job, especially if you are a parent. This is very crucial that you, again, plan out your NHT global business. Now, there's times with this business that you'll do it when it's not scheduled, when you're out and about, or you're presented with an opportunity to be able to expose your website or your product or your opportunity. I'm talking about where you're truly dedicated to your NHT global business. Okay? So, how many hours a week do you have allocated, have you allocated, or devoted to your NHT global business? Do you even know? This is very, very important. Is it consistent? Do you do it on a weekly basis? Have, do you commit to the schedule that, have you, that you created? And is it action-oriented? Meaning, if you blocked off an hour, three days a week, to build your NHT global business, what are you doing in that hour to build your business? Now, I'm going to go back here uh, a minute because I want to share kind of an example of how, how we're the people that get in our own way in our success. For those of you that have a job, obviously in a job, you have a start time and an end time. You punch in and you punch out. And during that time, you have responsibilities. You have activities you have to do that you have to accomplish. Um, you got uh, 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 tasks that you have to do. You have uh, responsibilities within your job tasks that you have to do during that time. And you, again, don't get paid what you truly want and you hate it, but you still do it and you're still committed to it. So my question to you is, why isn't your NHT Global Business the same way? I want you to think about that. You are committed to doing all the necessary activities that you need to do for your job, even if you hate it, to get paid a paycheck that is less than what you think you deserve, and you do it every single day. Why should your NHT global business that pays you leveraged uh, effort, that is your equity, it is your business, it is your future, why shouldn't your business be the same way? Think about that. That should empower you. Number four, DMO, your daily method of operation. This is crucial. Crucial with exclamation marks, bold, capitalized, you name it. Your daily method of operation. You see, many people do not have a daily method of operation. And I'll tell you why they don't have a daily method of operation. Because they don't have an NHT Global time schedule. And if you don't have a time schedule, what operation are you operating? Think about that. So let's go over this because, again, these are little things that people deviate, deny, exclude, and yet, why are they not moving their business forward? Now, these are steps that if you do and you implement and you consistently follow it, it'll help you conduct your business so smoothly, so effortlessly, because all you do is follow your plan. Now, your daily method of operation, okay? Gosh, I've done a training, an entire training on just this, and I believe so many of the, the, the leaders in NHT Global have done that, and, and they're on, again, uh, our training site. So, you know, your NHT Global business starts, okay? Perhaps it's at 9 o'clock, three days a week. What do you do? Like, what is it that you do for your NHT Global business? Do you have a plan of action, a system in place that when your time for NHC Global starts, that boom, you know what you need to do to build your business? If not, write down on your notes right now, no, this is what I need to work on. I need someone to help me with this. Because if you don't do anything about it, guess what? Your next six months in 2014 are going to be totally the same as your previous six months in 2013.
And as you heard Jamie Messina in the presentation earlier today, the definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over again, but yet expecting different results. So how do you expose your products and your opportunity to others on your daily method of operation? Do you pick up the phone and you contact people? Do you have a list of people already prepared from the night before so when your time comes to work your business, boom, you're ready to go? What's the goals you set to accomplish for the day? Do you have any goals that you want to accomplish for the day? I mean, how serious are you taking your business? If you had a headquarters that was worth a million dollars and you were behind your CEO desk, okay, and you needed people to perform in your organization, in your headquarters, in your CEO, you're the CEO of the company, wouldn't you like to know that those people have a method of operation of how they're going to build your corporation. Well, what is it for your NHT Global business? How many new people do you connect with on a daily basis? What's your goal? Do you have a goal? How many presentations do you give daily? How many appointments do you create daily? How much in sales are you shooting for? I know someone who shoots for two facial kits a day. That's what her goal is. That's what she go. She focuses on selling two facial kits a day, because that's close to a hundred dollars just doing that, and that's just retailing. Whether she does it on her through her online store, or she does it meeting people, or she does it by inviting people over to her house, or it doesn't matter. That is her goal, and that's what she shoots for every single day. What is your goals? for your NHT Global business hours of operation. And what's your daily method of operation? See, when we wake up in the morning, we have a system. It's a habitual system. Some of us will wake up, we'll go straight to the bathroom, and then go to the kitchen and start their coffee. Some of them will wake up and meditate for five minutes. They'll do their calisthenics. Then they'll go to the bathroom. Whatever it is, what is it that you do for your NHT Global business that's going to move you, again, to the direction of where you want. The biggest mistake people make with their NHT business time commitment is they use that time to figure it out. They use that time to think about what they're going to do in their business. And if you're doing this part time, then part time of your NHT global business is about thinking and it's not about doing. And your growth in your business, the checks you're going to make, the growth you're going to have, the amount of enrollments you're going to have, the amount of sales that you're going to have through your online store or personally is going to be related to how much you do, not how much you think. Okay? This is crucial. Again, this could be an entire weekend seminar on understanding how simple it is to do a daily method of operation and sticking to it. And yeah, you can tweak it every once in a while if it's if you're not again hitting what you want or perhaps your you know your time is not as uh again as as open as it should have been the previous week but do something that you will stick to that no one bothers you no one interrupts you and you're moving your organization in a direction that you want and let me tell you one hour a day can build a multi-million dollar business if you stick to a daily method of operation for your business. Number five, very important. I see so many people who hibernate, but yet they want to build their business. Nothing happens by yourself in this industry. This is a business of working together. It is a business of solution-oriented things together. It, you need to have a workout partner, a partner that, again, will hold you accountable, working together, helping you solution-oriented in moving you forward, in keeping you in the path that you said you wanted to be, not the path that your enroller wants you to be, but the path that you said you wanted to be so then we can help you, steer you in that direction. This is so crucial. How many of you guys have worked out in a fitness club or done weights or whatever, and you made it to more sessions and more workouts 
because you know you were going with somebody. You were accountable. You couldn't just not go because then you felt bad that that person was counting on you. How many times did you get a better workout with somebody else than when you went by yourself? This is how this business works. You should be working with your enroller or anybody in your upline partner on a consistent basis. Consistent basis. Now, here is what your accountability partner is not there to do. This is very important. Very, very important. They are not there to feel sorry for you. Okay? So take this from a, a positive aspect. They're not there to listen to all the obstacles that you have. Because let me tell you, you've heard this before. What happens to you happens to everyone. Understand that, know that, appreciate it, and accept it. How you handle it is all up to you. So your upline partner is not there to feel sorry about your obstacles. Because those obstacles, every other leader has probably gone through what you've gone through. They're not there to listen to why you can't do it or the excuses of why you didn't do it. That's not what a workout partner does. They're not there to keep you in your safety comfort zone. Okay, This is so important to understand. Your accountability partner, again, there's so many things. I just jotted some just little things that you can jot down. They're there to challenge you. Your enroller, your upline leader, your leadership here at NHT Global, your multimillionaires here at NHT Global, they're here to challenge you, to challenge you to expand, to grow, not to keep you where you're at because the reason why you joined is obviously to have better results in your finances, to have a better life. Well, if you stay where you're at with what you're doing, well, then you're never going to get there. So their, your partner is there to help you grow. And you can't grow unless you are challenged. They're there to help stretch you, okay, to, to spread your wings, so to speak. They're there to keep you accountable for the things that you said you wanted to do. Not what they said, but what you said. They're there to help you become a leader. If you want to make full-time income, you want to become a six-figure income earner, you want to become a millionaire and a multimillionaire with NHT Global, you must become a leader. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. You must become a leader, a leader that leads people to greatness. And everybody can become a leader. Anybody who's ready to become a leader can become a leader. This is a independent business. You're not dependent on anybody. But you can depend on the support and the system and the tools and everything that we have available in order for you to build your business. See, the goal is for you to become independent as quickly as possible, to use your creative imagination, to use the things that allow you to excel and grow personally that you can, again, build your business with our support. And the quicker you become a leader, the more you can go out there and teach others how to become a leader. Are you going to have everybody become leaders? No, that's just the reality. Some people need hand-holding for six months, perhaps a year, perhaps for a year and a half. Some people don't need any hand-holding. They just need a little jump start. Okay? So your goal is to become a leader, and your accountability partner is to help you become that leader as fast as possible. And number six, this is so crucial. You've heard the great Joe Garcia. You've heard the great Dan Cato. You've heard Patrick Tulloch and Jamie Messina and Francis Maxwell and, gosh, so many of the other leaders and Donna Young and, uh, gosh, I, I'm, I hope I'm not missing anybody because we got got lots of leaders here that do the calls here uh, on Wednesday nights. And every single one of them have touched on this. And this is crucial. This is where transformation happens, folks. 
Every day you must visualize it all. You must visualize everything that I just talked about. Now, you heard about visualizing and playing that movie, and you've got to have that five-minute movie of what it looks five years from now as if you've already achieved it. It's got to be emotional. You've got to be able to feel it, smell it, taste it, and experience as if you're already experiencing it right now. That is so true, and it is so powerful, and it is what's going to create that attraction and manifestation. But I'll tell you one thing. Here's the reality. Many people have a hard time visualizing success, especially because of their belief system, especially because of their background growing up. And I'm not going to make this training about that because we got great training uh, uh, on that, okay? But here's what you can do uh, on a smaller scale, okay? What you can do is you can visualize, again, your daily method of operation. Visualize making that call, talking. Look outside the box as if you were looking at you as a, in the movie, that you're looking at yourself making that phone call. You, you got to see yourself enrolling that person. You got to see yourself on the computer uh, entering their information and enrolling them. You got to see yourself doing a presentation in front of a lot of people. You got to see yourself com people coming up to you and asking questions, how, how, how is it that you've become so successful? You got to be able to see all that. When you can start seeing all that, you will start seeing that in your results. When you start seeing that in your results, then you'll be able to start looking two years from now, five years from now, ten years from now. Where how would it how would it feel if you've achieved everything that you wanted to achieve and you were doing it right now? Close your eyes. And I want you to visualize that. Visualize that house, that car, that emotion. How would you feel waking up in the morning knowing you're financially free? How does it make you feel knowing that you have everything that you want and you can plan your day however you want with whoever you want? Think about that. How does that make you feel? That's empowering. But if you can see that, you can create that. So here's my phrase that I wrote here. Those who believe you must see it first before you believe it, folks, they are all broke, okay? I'm telling you right now. And some of them may be the people with the same last names as you, and some of them may be your neighbors, and some of them may be your old school friends that you're still hanging out with, and I'm not saying not to hang out with them, but I want you to understand that the people who say, hey, well, I want to see you succeed before I do it. Those are probably people that are broke. Those are people who don't believe in themselves. See, in order for you to see it, you have to believe it if you understand the universal principle of law of attraction. If you understand that the computer you have right now was first a thought before it was real, then you have to buy into this principle. Everything is created twice, once in the mind, second in material. You can't create something if it's not a thought first, if it's not designed first. Then you bring it into fruition through your actions. So if you want to have a life that you create, you must believe it in your mind first. You have to visualize it as if you've already achieved it. And then... The attraction of the things that you need in order to build your business will manifest. I promise you. I guarantee it. I can share experiences. I'm sure every leader in NHT Global, as well as this profession, that will tell you exactly the same thing. This is so important to understand. And you cannot miss any single day in visualizing where you want to be in your life. Visualizing the success and the happiness of your family. That should be part of your visualization. Visualize the places you want to go with your family. Visualize the money that's coming into your bank account every single week. Visualize the quality of your life that can change, that is changed because of the money that you're making through your NHT Global Business, because of the effort that you put in, because of the emotions you feel because of the things you visualized in your mind. That is powerful, folks. So again, 
you got to see yourself do the individual activities, making the call, doing the presentation, enrolling people. you got to see yourself as an entrepreneur taking charge of your life. you got to see yourself already accomplished the six-month financial goal that hopefully all of you are going to do after this call and share it with your enroller. you got to see yourself living the life you want as if you were already living it right now. It should give you goosebumps. If not, you're not believing what you're visualizing. And that, that is a momentum breaker for you. And that is why you must have a workout partner. A workout partner who can always keep you on track with what you want to accomplish in life. A partner that will keep you accountable for the things that you want to create in life. Because it's very easy to quit. It's very easy to let go and take the least resistance, the path of least resistance. The path of least resistance, folks, doesn't allow you to grow. It doesn't get you out of your comfort zone. And if it doesn't take you out of your comfort zone, it doesn't matter what business you do, it doesn't matter what occupation you do, you will never, ever, ever succeed the way you would like to succeed as if you had the financial situation that this opportunity can give you. This should end power you. Don't miss any of these six steps on a daily basis. Do not miss any of these six steps. Do not deviate. Do not try to recreate it. Do not try to reinvent it. Keep it as simple as possible. Can you add a couple more steps? Probably. I can add a lot of steps. I can add steps. Are you taking your NHC Global products on a daily basis? Which are your three or four favorite ones that you take on a daily basis? Do you do the facelift every other day like you're supposed to? Or are you on the maintenance on your facelift uh, twice a week uh, like you're supposed to? Are you a product of your own product? That could be part of your daily steps. There's a lot of things that you can add on your daily steps that helps you personally, helps you health-wise, it helps you professionally, and it helps you financially. But again, I just shared with you six Again, six simple steps uh, that, again, that came to my mind. And uh, so, you know, write them down. Look at them tonight. Take care of the things that you can get better at. Not next week. Don't put your notes aside. Don't take information that you know is valuable to you and say, I'll get to it tomorrow. That is a big mistake that so many people make. Because guess what happens? Tomorrow comes. And it's not a big deal. You'll do it the next day. And then it's part of that big pile. And guess what? You're back to square one again. You need somebody to then motivate you again. And in this business, if you want to become successful, motivation never works. Inspiring yourself, self-motivating yourself is what needs to happen. And if you become that leader, you will be that self-motivator that doesn't require somebody else to, again, lift up your spirits when you could be doing that yourself. Folks, all of our trainings, including this one, is on steamteam.ca. Anything you want to learn personally, professionally, financially is in this website. I also have my recordings on 6plusteamglobal.com, all the webinars that I have done. But they are also on steamteam.ca. So I hope this was a valuable training, a simple one, in ways that you probably heard a portion of these differently from different people. But just putting this together in six steps, hopefully that allowed you to see if you miss any of these steps, do you need to do more of one step? Have you even done any of these steps? Again, this is designed to help you realize where you're at with your NHC Global business today and what you need to do in order for you to change your NHC Global business tomorrow. So I want to thank all of you for joining here tonight. It's an honor to be a part of the leadership tier in NHD Global, helping you build your business and helping your organization build their dreams as we continue to build ours. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll hear you on our next Wednesday night call.